Welcome back to the channel Reaction Faction. We are going to do another reaction video today. Doing something different this time. We're going to do something a little different. I'm going to be reacting to a group of guys that I watch, and a girl, that I watch on YouTube. They are called uh, Project Fear. And what they do is they go into haunted places and basically investigate them. Uh, I'm going to watch about a 15-minute clip, maybe or so, maybe a little bit more, depending on where we're at. Um, the whole video is an hour long, but uh, they're amazing. I, I watched them when they were on Destination Fear on discovery channel and their show was amazing then it got canceled so they end up taking their show to youtube which they do now and they go back and it's project fear uh same guys i mean it's the same everything only difference is it's on a different platform now so it makes it really cool this way it's also uncensored so uh if y'all want to see more of them I'll, I'll put a link in the description below so that way you can watch some of their videos like i said we're gonna do about a 15 minute so uh video here of them just doing an overnight investigation reacting to some of the things that happened so we'll check it out. I'll do something a little different than the music that I usually do. I'm trying to mix it up on the channel here a little bit. Before we do, you all know the drill. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you are new here, please make sure you subscribe as well, so that way you can catch more of these videos that I do. With that being said, let's get right to it. Project Fear. That body photo of something, I don't even know what it is. Nothing. Look at this. What, what? is that? Whoa. I thought I heard someone walk in the building. Not supposed to be in here. This looks like not human. Oh. What the f what the f if there is something surrounding me, do not come with me out of these doors. Right now, we are at the Odd Fellows Orphanage. We have a special guest. So, we just have a little backstory. Guy right here that I'm circling with my. Uh, you can see it. Yeah, you can see it with my mouse. His name's Dakota Layton. He edits all of these videos himself. So everything you see on here is him putting this together. And it's made, he is an incredible, I, I wish I could spend like a day just with him editing videos, just because I can learn how to do it myself. He is awesome. Kalani from Kalani Ghost Hunter What's going on YouTube. On everybody? This guy's awesome. He's on TikTok, he's on YouTube. It has been such a terrifying night. We've had stuff interfering with our walkies. <laughs> Almost all of our equipment has been giving us really interesting responses. If you guys want to see what we've already been through tonight, you've definitely got to go watch part one. The link is in the description. How are you doing tonight? You feeling good? Uh, you know, coming here for the second time, it was a lot worse than it was my first experience. Like, I'm a little nervous about being alone, and like, it almost feels like we're anticipating something to happen just by being separate from everybody else. I have to add, too, that like, this place is so untapped. It almost like felt like the spirit we're just starting to figure out how to use our equipment. Now we're going to be separated using equipment. We've all agreed on the five scariest locations for us to sleep. First, we have the third floor of the girl's wing. Then we have the third floor of the boys' wing. These are completely different sides of the buildings. And then we have the second floor of the main orphanage building. For our next sleeping arrangement, we have the basement. That's gotta be the worst. It's definitely gotta be the worst. The basement is no joke. We can definitely say without a doubt that's where a lot of the activity is kind of revolving around. For our last sleeping arrangement, we have the auditorium. Oh my gosh, this is actually terrifying by yourself out there. Yeah, so whoever gets this location will be all by themselves in their own separate building. So those are our five sleeping arrangements. Tanner's gonna write those out on a piece of paper, then we're gonna draw, and that's where you go sleep for the rest of the night. Yeah! I feel like, Kalani, you should draw first. You're our guest. Just get it over with. Rip the bandaid off. All right. Kalani, please Let's pick go. the auditorium. Anything but auditorium. <sighs> All right, this is the one. This is the this winner. This is the one. Second floor made. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we'll take it. So if you're confused to what they're doing, when they, um, when they get later on in the night, they all separate and go their separate ways, and then they, quote unquote, sleep alone. Um, of course, none of them sleep alone. I mean, they never I mean, they sleep alone. They, of course, they don't ever sleep because who could sleep? But they are in completely different parts of the buildings, or even completely different buildings by themselves, from about two, three o'clock on till the sun comes up. So they're in these haunted places by themselves, 
And that's nobody else is there with them. They're all alone. I think it'd be fun, personally. Here we go. All right, Kalani, the tradition goes as you get to pick the next person to pick. Anybody you want. Dakota. Oh! Ah, oh, you tried to turn that out, too. I'm hoping you don't get auditorium Thank because you. I just want to send her. Yeah. What is wrong yeah. with you guys? Oh my God. Here we go. Here we go. I got the girl's wing. Wow. Still on the table. It's still on the table. I've seen everything but the girl's wing, so I don't even know what to expect. I think that Alex, you should probably. God, go. dude. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. That's I'm so, so nervous. I'm so nervous, man. Oh. Alex. Boys wing, boys wing, boys wing. Come on, boys. <laughs> One Uncle Al up there with the boys. Yes! I'm with the boys, baby! I'm with the boys! The boys are back in town! Let's go, dude! Honestly, it was really creepy when me and Tanner were there because we were getting the three beeps on the walkie and all that stuff, but it's not the basement and it's not the auditorium, so I'm all right. Ha and ha! Have fun! Alex is way too happy. None of us should be celebrating because how many times in the past has the person you thought they had it the easiest get it the worst? You're right. I probably do have the worst one. Oh my god! You're probably right. Out of the building though. Yeah. Like if you're in the basement, at least you have the comfort of knowing there's people above you. Yes. A couple floors up. But when you're over there, Man. you're all alone. All right, Chelsea, you can do it. Chelsea's up. This is gonna be interesting because there's no good spot. <laughs> no, there's really not. <laughs> I got the basement. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I hate basements, and the basement of a haunted location is just like extra creepy. It is. Wait, Tanner! You got the auditorium. You got the auditorium. I have zero clue what this is, what to expect, what it looks like. So, I'm going to see if I can put a picture in here. I was watching Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer the other day from back in um, the 1960s. And the guy right here, he looks just like one of the elves on there. I'm going to see if I can put one of his pictures on there. I don't, let me back up. See, let me pause it on space. Hold on. Let me find it on here. I'm, I'm going to find a picture of the elf if I can. I hate and post it on here. You'll think it's funny. The basement of a haunted location is Hold just on. like extra creepy. It is. Tanner! Auditorium! You got the auditorium! I have zero clue what this is, what to expect. Right there. When I, I'm going to post a picture of this somewhere in this video. You'll look at him and you'll be like, yep, there he is. <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. What it looks like. Uh, I don't know the history. I don't know the hunting. I don't know anything. Um, all I know that is that I'm completely by myself. I'm practically doing a solo completely alone. Well, well. Right. I guess. I'm bundle I up guess. and go to bed. Yep, that means it's time to bundle up and go to bed. Do you think you're gonna get sleep over there? No one's actually no. sleeping. Adios. Um, I want to introduce myself. I'm Tanner. I'll be staying here for the rest of the night. Is that all right with you? He's all alone in that place. Nobody around him. This is super bizarre because I've not been in this spot yet. I truly don't know what this was used for. So again, my name is Tanner. Uh, I just want to find out your story. I want to know kind of what's going on here. To give me any sign, that would be extremely appreciated. So I don't know about this, y'all. I don't know about this. So. When I do ghost hunts myself, I never like to have my back to anything. I'm always up against a wall, so nothing can come up behind me. I mean, I guess that's just a fear I have. But, like, for him sitting kind of out there in the middle like that, it kind of makes me nervous, especially since there's doors behind him. Something could come up behind him. You know, whether it be supernatural or even, a, you know, a person. Um, that's the other thing you got to worry about. A lot of these locations like this, uh, they do end up sometimes having people, you know, just, you know, kids going in there just to goof off at night. So you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Uh, so having my back to something like that make me a little nervous. Hey, 
Hey, hey, yo, what's up? <laughs> All right. If there's anything in here with me, I don't mean you any harm or disrespect. I understand that I'm in your space and I just want to talk to you. So if you want to talk to me on the counter right here, there's a device that you can use to let me know that you're here. Or maybe you can knock on something. It's so quiet in here. Well, this is freaking scary. I'm in the basement by myself in the orphanage. And it is so dang creepy down here. So I'm going to set up this little bear here. This bear basically is like a REM pod. So if there's anything that comes close to this bear, it will go off. It looks really cute right now, but if that thing goes off, that won't be so cute. <laughs> nope. <laughs> if there is something down here, someone down here, you can touch this teddy bear and it will go off and it will let me know that you're here with me. So if there is something here, can you go up and touch that teddy bear? What the frick was that? Kalani was telling me that there's actually an entrance point in the basement where when people break in, this is usually where they See, that would scare me. So I'm freaked out from the parents. That would scare me more than anything is watching something like that. Knowing that there could be somebody down there, homeless people, you know, kids just, you know, trying to goof off. I, I'd be, that would, I'd be more nervous for me than uh, worry about anything uh, supernatural. Paranormal. I'm freaked out because of people. And I'm just scared because this is a freaking basement. Oh my god. Okay. I am on the third floor of the boys wing. Tanner and I were in this section and we were getting really bizarre walkie interference. I was up here not too long ago. Now it's just me. If you're up here, can you make a noise? Hold on, was that something next to him in the room, or is that a bug? Hold on, let's back up just a little bit here. Hold on. Look. It's like there's something right here in the window. And we were getting really bizarre walkie interference. I was up here not too long ago. Now it's just me. If you're up here, can you make a noise? Oh, it's a bug. It's a bug. Whip out my mag light, so we'll see if I can get some generic yes no questions answered here in the boys' wing. Alright, so I have a mag light on the ground right next to me. There's someone up here, can you come and turn this light on? Am I speaking to one of the orphan boys that lived here? You want to have a conversation with me? Can you turn it on? Oh my god. Hmm. Okay. How old are you? Can you turn it on when I hit your age? You four? Five? Sixteen. Sixteen? That's pretty crazy because he's got the light on the floor and what they do is they just loosen it up where it's really doesn't it's almost making contact with the battery but it's not quite there. So if you just lightly tap the uh, flashlight it will turn off and on. So what he's doing is asking it the and if there's something in the room with him to touch the light and when it touches the light the flashlight comes on then when he touches it again it goes off. That's how that's working. So when he got to the person's age the 
flashlight turned on. So the person, the person who he is talking to is basically letting him know that's how old they are when he got to that age. 16. All right, can you shut it off for me? You were 16 years old. Just shut off. Did you like living here? Was there mistreatments in this facility? Yes. Oh my See, God. it's direct responses. I'm sorry that you were mistreated. This is really freaky. It's like answering direct questions. So I'm just gonna take a second. I'm gonna be as quiet as possible. If you want to let me know that you're here, now is your time to do that. If there's any orphans here or any other spirits that maybe there's been something that's trying to silence you, I invite you to please try and come forward and let me know that you're here. Can you touch this device on the counter, on the count of three? One, two, three. It's so quiet. You can literally hear like a pin drop in here. That's how quiet it is. It's always bizarre in these moments because you really don't know who you're going to speak to. You kind of just have to kind of keep talking and see if anything sticks. Were you one of the kids here? I don't want you to be afraid of me. I know you haven't had a whole lot of people come here and try to talk to you. I'm not a bad guy. So if you'd like, you can come a little closer. Right now, I'm on the third floor of the girls' wing. I think for the first, you know, chunk of time, I'm just gonna kind of sit here, not use any equipment to see what I hear, feel. <sighs> Is there anybody in here with me? Can you knock two times? Here's the fourth floor. Hello? <laughs> Can you imagine being there by yourself at night? Nobody around you. You are all alone. So my only thing with some noises like that is, you know, it, could be rodents in the building. I mean, it's an old building. You can have possum in there. You can have raccoons, rats, mice, bats, whatever. Bats fly around, knock something down. A rodent knocks something over. Is that what's going on? Maybe, maybe not. It's hard to say. Um, but me, as a, I don't I want to say a skeptic, because I have seen some pretty th weird things that I have no idea how to explain. Um, but... That's the first thing I think of when I hear something like that is, you know, what possibly could it be? I usually have a lot to say and know a lot about a location, but this is one of the first times where I don't really know what questions to ask because I know so little. All right, so I'm going to take out the Obulus and turn it on. This is a device that has a word database. 
So if there is something or someone here that wants to communicate, you can use this device to communicate with me. What happened down here? Almost. Questions. Like, what does that even mean? Is there an area in this building that we should be worried about? That we shouldn't go to? Down. Down in the basement? Where I am? What's going on? Dude, my battery's about to die. My battery's dying, I gotta cut. Hey, my battery's dying, I have to cut. Do you need help with the batteries, Chelsea? Yeah, I just need a second battery. Dak, you want me to go or I can run down there? Dude, Alex, can you help her and then come to me really quick and just look upstairs at me? I'm hearing a lot of stuff. I'm so scared, I don't even know. I'm coming down and then I'm heading over to you, Dak. Copy. I don't even want to move. All right. I got a battery. Chelsea, I'm coming down. That's crazy that it died that quick. I know. Yeah, the battery died so fast down here. 213 minutes, so if this drains, I don't even know. I'd have to say I have some kind of a weapon. I couldn't do it without a weapon. I'd be a little nervous about somebody in there that's, you know, up to no good. That would be my biggest fear. That's where I'm looking. Up these stairs right here. I keep hearing stuff above me. Very loud. If I was one of the other people in the group when I came up there to help him, I'd, I'd scream right, crap well, out of him. I'm going to head back up, but good luck, Chelsea. Thank you. Freaky. All right, I gotta go see what Dakota needs. All right. Holy crap. Keep your walkie close. This is a weird night. I will. There's a theory that's, you know, where entities can drain batteries to use that energy for something else, and I really hope that's not the case. Okay, I'm coming over to Dakota's side now. Dakota? Coming up. I just want you to check with me. What are you hearing? It actually sounds like either a person or like an animal trying to like get out of a room or something. Where do you hear it? Above me, what's above me? The attic. The attic? Yeah, there's a creepy attic. I'm hoping it's like a <laughs> raccoon or something. Is this how you get up? Oh my God, dude, this is definitely where it's coming from. We're coming up. What's there styrofoam on the door for? That's Hello? Kinda, maybe just keep the uh, keep the heat out in the summer, maybe, or, or the cold out in the winter. Okay, well, well there's definitely nothing up here. Definitely nothing up here. All right, y'all. I'll, I'll cut it right there for now. Uh, yeah, they, they they put on a great show. Like I said, they. After they lost their show over on Discovery Channel, they started this YouTube channel. Uh, and they're basically all funded by just YouTube. So everybody tries to watch their videos as much as possible. And so that way they can, you know, get the revenue from it. Um, I hope you all enjoy it too. Please check out their ch website or their uh, their channel. I'll link it below with this video. So that way you can check it out. They're, they're amazing to watch. They're fun to watch. Hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you all on the next video. Bye now.